Hey guys, Katie here. Hey, listen, you know, a lot of people come to me and they want to get started in a business or they want to create some change in their life or maybe they're stuck uh, in their personal development and they need some help. And one of my favorite things to do, and, and this is something that I've spent many years studying, is really helping people and walking them through it. You know, I, I, it actually breaks my heart when I see people stuck. It really does. However, comma, I am not in charge of their breakthrough. I am not in charge of what it is that they're going to do if they want to create some kind of change in their life. I wish I was sometimes. I wish I could just put my brain inside of other people's brains and say, you know what, if you could just follow these steps, I, I promise you, you'll walk your way through it. Because if you're, you're hitting a brick wall, you're just lacking a skill set to break through it. So, number one, you're not in charge of how people are able to go to the next level. You're only in charge of yourself. You have to do the work on you, and the more work you do on you, the more people you attract into your life that want to walk through those steps too, that want to get to that point where like, you know what, I want to be a leader, or, or you know, I, I want to break through this financial barrier, or I want to be more successful in my business, or I want to have a better marriage. Because if you really want it, you would set, set the intentions right now. You wouldn't, you wouldn't question it. Uh, you might have questions along the way, but you would you would do whatever it took. So you got to ask yourself, how bad do you want it? How bad do you want what's in front of you? You have to want it more than anything in the world. And there, when you're setting those intentions, those intentions are, I may not be where I want to go, but I'm going to get there. You've made up your mind. It's that simple, people. And yes, you do have to believe there's a combination of a lot of things, but you have to set those intentions clear and you have to ask yourself, how bad do I want it? Do I want it that this that bad? Do I want to be out of debt that bad? Do I want a better marriage that bad? Or do I want, you know, to have a better life? Do I want to take more vacations? Do I want to have less stress? How bad do you want it? Because the truth is you're going to have to work for it. But if you set the intentions from the get-go and you set them straight and you make them clear and you go all in and you commit, I promise you, you will succeed. But if you just whine and complain your whole way through and you keep speaking death over everything, then you don't want it that bad. And just kind of seeing, oh, well, let's see if this will work. If you already have that attitude, you might as well quit now. Let's just see how this will fit in my lifestyle. That's entitlement, and, and, and you might as well quit. Those are not the people I'm looking to partner with. I'm looking to partner with people that are really open-minded to making those changes in their life that want it bad. How bad do you want it? How bad do you want to make $9,000 in 45 days, which is something that I've been able to do? Come on, people. Where else can you do that working a couple hours a day? Where else? Click the link below. Connect with me. There's not very many results I need to give you. I mean, come on. If that's something that you want to do, click the link below. I'll see you on the inside. Bye.